In Chapter 20, The Best of Bad Situations, Saphir leaves word that she's left with Massif and will meet her companions in Mukmu. The party, relieved of their moral compass, attempts to steal the Mykonid camp map from the elves. Jillian puts on the theatrical performance of a lifetime and kicks an elf nearby. I know him. This is the elf that you spoke to me about previously? Are you sure this is the... this is the elf? You said he had a scar on his left cheek. I see no scar. No, I'm not entirely sure. It might not be. Jillian draws the elves' attention as Erlin ducks into the lean-to and snatches the map. Our friends dismiss themselves from the camp, crediting their hasty exit to Jillian's misplaced aggression. At this moment in time, we are the five best people equipped to deal with this camp. That's probably true, yes. Spear said she'd meet us in Mokman. I said the five best people to deal with this camp. Traveling a healthy distance before making camp, our friends rest for the evening and Jillian eagerly analyzes the map. While his companions sleep, Graven tries to contact his deity, Kauzni. You must see that I am carrying out your will as best I can. This beast has arguably taken more from me than you have. I may not be ready to face it in my current state. As for the healer, the operative, those that I travel with, they are a means to an end. Leave them to me. The means to an end friends all have relatively peaceful watches, except Erland, who keeps things interesting by failing his watch, becoming restrained by Daldoon, and led away from the camp. I'm not gonna tell anyone, but I'm gonna call on you one day, and I expect your help. No questions. I can promise you that I will, and I will convince whoever I can to help. Daldoon also requests Erland to bring him any Mykonid extract he finds during their mission at the camp. Have you ever used Mykonid extract, friend? No. Have you ever seen anyone who does? Yes. In the wrong hands, and I don't mean abuse of power, I mean in the wrong hands, without the proper healers, without the proper experience, having a little bit of myconid extract is worse than having no myconid extract at all. My culture is on the brink of blinking out of existence. I am willing to take that risk. Daldun then releases Erland, who goes back to camp. The party rises with the sun and once more go to Mukmu, and once more they are stopped by a ragtag group of hired hands, led by a mysterious mage. Where are you coming from? Originally, or in Chupa in the south. Lies. Excuse me. Is there any reason why you would call us liars? Because you're lying. I know what you are. The mage casts seeming on our friends, giving them a horrifying undead appearance, which is enough to spark fear in the thugs and start attacking. The mage runs off into the woods, followed quickly by Erlind and Orba, leaving their friends to deal with the thugs. Erlind knocks out the mage by going full plant boy, teleporting through a tree and coming out another. So Erlind, having sprinted into the tree, sprints out and just like jumps through the tree, oh! quart it quarterstaff like to her face, lands on her so his like knees at her throat, knocks her out. Yeah. And just is like, on top of her. After killing the thugs, the party searches the mage and finds a letter. Jillian, we yeah. found this. Yes, Jillian, this might be interesting to you. Seems that she's been chosen as a myconid supplier, perhaps. We heard of this uh, lemonade man. Right. I don't know if it's her, but she appears to be someone who might be a supplier as well. Graven kills the unconscious mage, and our friends return to their normal appearances. The journey to Mukmu resumes and finally comes to an end when Jillian drops her hirelings off at the lakeside inn. Where should we meet you? I'll find you. I don't want you coming to Scalcetra's place. It's important to me that I keep certain aspects of my business separate. Graven and Erland head into their room to rest up for the night, while Bazaar and Orbo wait in the lobby, hoping to greet Safira when she arrives. And in the quiet of so this sort of evening with the two ladies seeking a drink here on the first floor. That's where we're gonna wrap up for the evening. Oh. I thought for sure you were gonna go at me for something. <laughs> Which of Erlin's questions will be answered at the Natural Studies Institute? Will Safira disown her companions when she hears of their misdeeds? Are our friends even remotely capable of keeping a low profile in Mukmu? Find out next time on Tabletop Notch.